friends, how are you? Welcome to my home, to my channel, and to today's video. I'm Mikkel if we haven't met and very glad to be hanging out with you today. So I consider myself a pretty organized type A person, though I will admit I've gone through a very big season of change in my life the last couple months. I just graduated, I'm getting married in 17 days, and I feel like I've been a little more frazzled and a little less on top of things. But nevertheless, I follow a pretty, um, not strict regimen, but I have figured out how to organize my life in a way that works best for me. So I figured I would share with you what helps me keep my ish together and not go crazy. First and foremost, I am one of the crazy people that loves using the iPhone calendar that's just built into the phone. Some people feel iffy about it, but I like it and I will tell you why. I first like how my phone is literally always with me. So if I think of something or we make plans or whatever, I don't have to go home and remember to write it in my planner. I have my calendar with me at all times and I will enter in whatever I need to do. One thing that I like about it though, is that you can put in the actual address and it will send you alerts about traffic. So it can be like, hey, traffic's pretty bad, leave within 30 minutes to get to your appointment in time, which has been very helpful for me, especially in LA where traffic can be pretty brutal. Sorry, my mom texted me. <laughs> You can set reminders on your iPhone, which has really helped me of remind me at a certain time to do something or remind me when I get somewhere to do something. So it can be nice, say, if I set my reminder to remind me when I get to work to ask my manager about blank. It will send me that reminder as soon as I step into that location because iPhones are creepy and track where you go all the time. A different calendar that I also use is one called Time Tree. And that is one that Brooke and I use together. It's like a really great, easy calendar sharing app. And I like to have separate calendars for Brooke and I and just me because I overshare on my own calendar and I like to see everything I'm doing. And then on our calendar with just the two of us, it's just things that we're both doing. It's very helpful because if I put something in, he'll know what we're doing, vice versa, and it reminds you the day before. I feel like there's a lot of miscommunication between everybody's relationship and we have been pretty much on the same page ever since we started the system, remembering things and knowing what we're doing and it's just been really nice. So one thing that I do every night just so I can fall asleep peacefully is make a to-do list for the next day on my phone. I like to do it on my phone because like I said, I always have it with me and then I can check things off when I'm done and delete the list afterward. I don't like writing things down on a piece of paper cause I lose it and I have bad handwriting to be honest. So I just like doing everything on my phone. So before I go to bed, what I will do is I will go into my notes and I will enter what things are happening at certain times. So for example, I will put eight to 8.55, Pilates, 12 to one audition, and then five to 11 work. And in between those things, I will enter things that I want to do um, so that I can kind of divide my day up. So say between Pilates and my audition, I want to go over my lines, sign X paperwork and do this. I don't know. And then I go to my audition and then I know between one and five, I want to do Da, 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 da. And it helps me kind of be like, okay, all I need to do between Pilates and my audition are these three things. And all I need to do between my audition and work are these four things. And I don't get as overwhelmed because I already budgeted out that time for myself. And I usually find out that I get all of it done and I feel very proud when I get to delete something off my list. Also, this has been a newer thing that I have been doing. Usually on a Sunday, I will make a weekly goals list, not necessarily a to-do list, because that seems more aggressive to me. I have daily to-do lists, but I have weekly goals, which is just a very kind and positively charged word. And these are things that I want to do sometime within the week. They aren't necessarily time sensitive and I will fill them in when or if I can. I would write out like 10 to 12 errands or things like get something tailored or um, film this bonus video if time, um, clean out closet if time. These are things that obviously don't have a due date on them, but I would be proud of myself if I did. And then it's almost like an extra gold star getting to put a check mark next to those in your notes. 
maybe I have some sort of psychological block to where I didn't get enough gold stars growing up, so now I give them to myself. I don't know, we can dive into that in a totally different video, but it helps me get stuff done nevertheless. So if I find myself bored, if I went through my to-do list, way faster than expected, then I look at my goals list. So like, what's one additional thing that I can do to make myself proud, make my life easier, make things cleaner and stuff like that. Speaking of cleaner, I have noticed that I am so much more productive when my house is in order. When my house is in order, I can get my life in order. And in fact, that has been a big thing with me with school. Um, when I, I don't know if you know this, but I recently graduated and I was an online student. So I had to do schoolwork from home and I had to have the house clean before I could focus. I just, I don't know, I would look around and get distracted by the mess if it wasn't clean. And that is a big benefit to living alone right now. Yes, I'm about to be married, so that's gonna change. Is that the house stays clean if I just pick up. With roommates or with a husband, that's a little more out of your control and that can get frustrating, but I like to every night before bed, pick up. Not necessarily clean clean, not like sweep and mop and stuff. I do that usually one day a week, but pick up stuff. Um, and in the morning, the first thing I do is make my bed because also I then can't climb back into it. And when I wake up to a clean home and I make my bed, I feel like, hey, that was a 30 second thing to make my bed and my life is already in order. My day's off to a good start. Let's crush today. Let's get stuff done. Last little thing that has helped me get my life in order is a lot of times I need to remember to bring things places, whether it be bring my work clothes to my audition because I'm going straight from my audition to work or bring snacks because I'm going to be gone for the day or don't forget to take your laundry, thing, I don't know, things like that. I will just put them all by the front door because you can't get out the front door if something's blocking it. If something's blocking it, you're going to be like, why is this blocking the front door? Oh, right, because I need to take it with me. I also use, I've always done this with refrigerated things. Say if there's like a dessert that I'm taking to a dinner or whatever, I'll put a sticky note on the door that says dessert in fridge so I don't forget that. And I actually, a long time ago, it was middle school or high school, I left a sticky note on the counter so I would see it at home when I lived with my parents that said lunch in fridge. And then my mom left the sticky note below it that said fridge next to pantry as if like, of course your lunch is in the fridge, Mikkel. Why would you leave yourself a note saying that? But I saw it, so I didn't forget to bring my lunch to school. It's a fail-proof method. And therefore, I don't forget things. Therefore, my life is more in order, so. Call me crazy, but it works. <laughs> Those are just some little tips and tricks to how I organize my life, especially in this season of chaos where I feel like my to-do list is forever long and I'm a little bit frazzled and maybe forgetting things, but I haven't actually forgotten things yet. I just have to triple think about things. So hopefully these tips help you. Some people like to organize their life completely differently. Some people are bullet journal persons. I wish I was a bullet journal person. Bullet journal people are so cool, but I don't carry books around with me and I don't stick to that. So this is just the method that has been the easiest for me. Basically almost everything on my phone because I can't leave that. I always have it with me and therefore always on time to things. Don't forget things at home and it's really helps. If you wanna hang out with me, I love friends and I love to hang out and we could be friends, internet friends, which might be better than real friends, but probably not. So press subscribe. I'd love to hang out. And I will see you very soon. Probably married. Maybe not. I don't know. Bye. Okay. Bye, guys.